Hi, I'm Jess from Cloudflare. Welcome. In this video, you'll learn the basics of Cloudflare Warp. Our support team will always be here to help, but this guide is all about empowering you to understand and solve issues faster on your own. We will learn the Cloudflare Warp client and how it differs from the consumer version of Warp, also known as the app 1.1.1.1. Device profiles, the different operating modes of Warp, split tunneling, exclude versus include modes, and the Warp GUI and its intended versus actual state. These are the basic concepts that will prepare you to troubleshoot any issues you may encounter. Let's get started with what is the Cloudflare Warp Client. Cloudflare Warp Client allows you to protect corporate devices by securely and privately sending traffic from those devices to Cloudflare's global network, where Cloudflare Gateway can apply advanced web filtering. The consumer version of Warp, or the app 1.1.1.1, is available to the public for free. The corporate version integrates with Cloudflare Zero Trust, giving your IT team the ability to manage security policies, control traffic routing, and monitor usage. If you're not sure which version of Warp you're currently using, you can tell them apart easily by its color. The consumer version will display Warp in red, whereas the corporate version will display Zero Trust in blue. If your intention is to use the corporate version, make sure you're seeing a blue Zero Trust Warp banner by authenticating with your Cloudflare Zero Trust organization. Next, what is a device profile? A device profile represents a different set of parameters assigned to your device based on its relationship with the policy attributes. You can create multiple profiles and apply different settings based on your user's identity, the device location, and other criteria. IT administrators can assign different device profiles to their users. For example, depending on office locations, teams, device types, operating systems, or other attributes, users might have different routes that need to be excluded from their warp tunnel, or different DNS settings to accommodate local development services. All right. It's important to know that Warp Client can operate in different modes because each mode controls the types of traffic sent to Cloudflare Gateway differently. The Warp mode determines which Zero Trust features are available on the device. Selecting the right mode depends on your organization's needs. For example, for internet security or remote access, Gateway with Warp or Secure Web Gateway without DNS filtering would be ideal. And the latter should only be used in cases where Cloudflare cannot control DNS resolution on the device. Both Gateway with DOH and Proxy Mode are used for internet filtering. Gateway with DOH is only DNS traffic, while Proxy Mode is only HTTP traffic. Lastly, Device Information Only Mode would be useful for clientless access, or browser-based remote access to use device posture without proxying traffic to Cloudflare. If you encounter a problem, Understanding which mode you're in will help you narrow down where the problem might be, and that's because warp modes are combinations or absences of particular features. For example, Gateway with Warp includes both DNS and tunnel components, so when you're troubleshooting, you have to look at both the DNS and tunnel components, as opposed to Gateway with DOH, where you will only have to look at the DNS component. But don't worry, you don't have to memorize all of this. You can always refer to our documentation. Next up, split tunneling. A feature that allows you to control what IP traffic goes through the warp virtual interface or tunnel. There are two ways to configure it. The first mode is exclude IPs and domains. This is the default setting. All traffic will be sent to Cloudflare Gateway except for the IPs and domains you specify. The second mode is include IPs and domains. Only traffic destined to the IPs or domains you specify will be sent to Cloudflare Gateway. All other traffic will bypass Gateway and will no longer be filtered by your network or HTTP policies. Secure Web Gateway without DNS filtering and device information only mode will automatically disable domain-based split tunneling. So if you're experiencing issues related to domains, it's good to check your warp mode. And lastly, here's a common point of confusion. The toggle button in the warp GUI shows the intended state, not the actual state. For example, if the toggle is on, it means that the client intends to connect, but the actual status may show disconnected if there's an issue. So always check the message below the toggle for the current connection state. You now understand the foundation of warp client components. If you want to learn more, we also have additional resources on Cloudflare Docs. Thanks for watching and see you soon.